Hey, what is going on guys? It is King X here back with another video and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to go from this Hey everybody, good morning. Let's have a positive wonderful enlightening day today to this Just in one day My first tip from going from Xbox to PC is definitely to never play solos. When I was trying to switch from Xbox to PC, I would play solos and get absolutely destroyed. It was not fun, I lost motivation, I even quit for a little bit. You never wanna play solos because whenever you're in a solo, there's always that one kid that sweats so much until he doesn't have any more liquid in his body. Like he's so bad and especially in chapter two now, Everyone is just a god at Fortnite, and it, ma it makes me lose motivation so much. Now, I have tips to get better, and here they are. I guess you could count tip number one as to never play solos. So tip number two is to go into creative. Creative is super helpful in trying to get better from switching to Xbox to PC for a bunch of reasons. First being, you can go into your own island, practice your keybinds, no one shooting at you, you can just build, do whatever you want, it's awesome. More specifically in creative, what you can do is just, just practice your keybinds. For me, I had Q as wall, X as floor, V as ramp, and left alt as roof. For me, what I did with these keybinds is I would just do a ramp and then a wall, a ramp and then a wall, and just keep going until I got used to the keys. And after that, I would try and make it more complex. I would do ramp floor wall, ramp floor wall, and it just kept going, got used to those keys, and then try to make it even harder on myself. I do ramp floor wall roof edit, and that would make it so much easier for me to remember what keybinds I had, and it was a lot super helpful. I know I just made this sound super easy, but it's it takes time to get used to. You need to practice this so much, get used to it. For me, it took me a day. Everyone's different, it could take you longer, it could take you less. Okay, now that you know how to build, you're still not ready for solos. I wouldn't try that yet. I would go into public match creatives and try and go into zone wars or box fights or anything similar to that. Even though you still might get sweated on, that's okay. You're not competing in the Fortnite World Cup. This is just creative. You'll respawn and get them in the next fight. Box fights and zone wars help so much because when people are shooting at you, it helps your reaction time with your keys, helps muscle memory, and so much more like that. Box fighting in Fortnite can also replicate sweaty pub game end games and also pro games if you're trying to get to that skill level. Here are a few clips from the Fortnite World Cup that include box fighting and are crucial to your Fortnite matches. Be careful not to get hit by that storm. Someone's gonna be above him! He's and too one, good! An elimination onto Skype! We're now sitting at a 1v1. Two players left standing here. Who's it gonna be down low? It's Dubs! It's Dubs down low! And Riversand has Dubs on his sight! Who's gonna get the win here? Riversand navigating, tarping. He has seven builds remaining. Dubs trying to play defense, giving himself any kind of cover that he can possibly maintain. But Riversand, a few more explodes remaining. That could punish Dubs. He's really trying to keep him down to the zone here, Golden Boy. Oh man, this is it. He sends another one out, and they're just telling him he gotta run. He goes into it. He's still holding position. Dubs has the high ground, but he does After watching that clip from the Fortnite World Cup, you can see how Dubs, even with the low ground, with the other person having splodes, he was able to put a one by one around him every time his stuff blew up and ultimately ended up getting the win because of that from box fighting. For my next tip, you know how I mentioned keybinds a little bit early in the video? Now, every single person has different preferences to how they like their keybinds and what I would not do is don't copy your favorite streamer's keybinds. That is their preference, not yours. Do whatever feels comfortable comfortable for you. But however, if you have no idea what to do, I'll show you my keybinds more in depth. First things first when talking about keybinds is you want to have Sprint by default on. Now, what it does is it helps you not press a button. And that is super useful. It wastes time. So you want to have sprint by default on and also have confirm edit on release on it does the same thing it just helps you not press that extra button to confirm your edit and just does it when you release the click on your mouse it's really useful and it helps me a lot okay now to the builds for wall i have it as q i press that with my ring finger 
floor, I have it as X. I press that with my thumb. V, I have stairs. I also press that with my thumb. Roof, I have it as left alt, which is right next to my space bar on the left. And trap, I have it as T. What you want to do is you never want to have keys where you're pressing with your pointer finger. Notice how none of these I can press with my pointer finger, and I have to use it with my thumb so I can maintain that A and D with building. Trap, I press my pointer finger. It's kind of a stretch, but it, ta it takes a little bit of time to get used to for that. And yeah, those are my key binds. Also, what these key binds help you do is also replacing walls from other opponents. Now let's pretend that there's a person behind this wall. Press it once, and what you want to do is swing with your pickaxe, and right after your pickaxe hits the wall, go to Q and place the build. So just like this. Now wall's yours, you can edit, shoot, bam, do whatever you want. Now for my last tip is to get better with aiming. What I strongly recommend is to go to 3daimtrainer.com and that really helps improve your aim with flicking, with shotgun shots, with your AR, all that kind of stuff. And here's a clip from that. I know this looks really simple, but it really does help. Now hopefully you got your aim down, your builds down, and I just want to show you what this did all for me. So here's me playing Zone Wars. Hope you enjoy.